Universal Orlando has been busy building a brand new roller coaster at Islands of Adventure based on the Harry Potter franchise. Dragon Challenge closed in September of last year, and we still haven't heard much from Universal about its replacement. With construction well underway, we're finally getting a better idea of what this new ride will be like. Universal has called it a highly themed roller coaster, but that's about the extent of the officially released information. While we still do not know how the coaster trains will be themed, although there have been some pretty good guesses out there, we do know that the ride manufacturer will be Intamin. They were the company behind Escape from Gringotts, as well as countless other coasters around the world. Some of the track style will be similar to Cheetah Hunt at Busch Gardens Tampa, and like Cheetah Hunt, the new Potter coaster will feature several launched sections, rather than traditional lift hills. The old queue building from Dragon Challenge is remaining. The interior has been almost completely gutted to make way for an entirely new immersive queue that will be fitting for the Wizarding World. Both of the old stations for Fire, Chinese Fireball, and Ice, Hungarian Horntail, are being utilized. They will be connected together, and the old Fire Station will become the new ride's load platform, now facing the opposite direction. The old Ice Station will become the unload platform for the new ride. The load and unload stations will utilize a moving platform, similar to Forbidden Journey or Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. Guests will load onto the train as it slowly proceeds through the station. The ride begins with our train exiting the building through the opening where the Fire Dragon used to end its run. It's looking like the ride will be themed as the castle grounds at the edge of the Forbidden Forest. One of the first scenes out of the building will be slow moving, like a dark ride show scene, but it will take place outside. During this scene, we will come face to face with the Weasley's flying Ford Anglia as it meanders toward us. As we pass the vehicle, our train picks up speed and we reach the first launch. We're propelled forward into a curve to our left, passing under some sections of track above us. We're traveling quickly toward a small round building located near the Hogsmeade train station. Guests entering the queue for the ride will be able to look down and see the section of the ride, as the track here will be set lower than Hogsmeade at the ride entrance. We slow to a stop as we enter the round structure, curving around to the left inside it. The entire train is inside this hut, and that's where we see Hagrid, the star of the ride. He's showing off one of the creatures of the Wizarding World, when suddenly it gets startled, and we're shot out of the structure into our second launch. This launch sends us into some of the most exciting parts of the ride. A near figure eight with highly banked turns, then another launch forward through a deep trench that sends us into a long curving oval. We slow down as we start to pass under some rocks, and there staring us in the face is a three-headed puppy known as Fluffy. Hagrid let Fluffy free into the forest after the Philosopher's Stone was destroyed, explaining our chance encounter here. After getting a good look at the three-headed dog, we move on, making a sharp left. After the left turn, we find ourselves being launched into a cave. While moving forward at a high rate of speed, it is suddenly pitch black dark, and we feel our coaster train start heading up a steep incline. We lose forward momentum, so we slow to a near stop at the top of the incline. We find ourselves several stories off the ground and pretty much on our backs looking straight up, except we cannot see anything because it's dark. But then the brakes on the track let us go and we free fall backwards. Our train is now traveling backwards out of the cave. We keep moving straight back, passing the turn we made earlier after Fluffy because the track had switched behind us. Now we're heading straight back towards a dark collection of vines. We're launched yet again, this time while heading backwards. Now we're swirling up a section of track 360 degrees while traveling upwards through a collection of vines, and it's getting darker as we go. Looks like we found our way into the Devil's Snare, a plant that will constrict its vines around anything it finds. Our train has become ensnared, so we come to a sudden stop. Whether we need to relax to break free, or perhaps a wizard comes to save the day by letting in some light, somehow the plant's tendrils let us go, and we fall straight down. This part of the ride will use a vertical drop track section, similar to the drop track on 13 at Alton Towers or Verbolton at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. After we drop down, we make our escape with one last super fast launch forward that takes us out of the vines and up and over the cave from earlier. Then we pass over track from the earlier scenes and our ride ends as we enter the building through the opening where the ice dragon used to finish its run. There will probably be more creatures seen along the way, as well as more themed elements we don't know about yet. The ride path will be lined with hundreds of trees, 
making for some dense and uniquely themed outdoor coaster sections. There will only be the three indoor sections, the hut, dark cave, and the devil's snare, but the scenes in between will be just as themed, making for a type of coaster attraction that Universal has never really attempted before. Plus, who knows what will be in store for us in the queue? Perhaps a pre-show with Hagrid, a unicorn, or even a carriage with Thestrals. The new coaster should be opening summer of 2019. What do you think of these possible details for the new ride? Are you excited to see Hagrid and more of his creatures from the Wizarding World? Or are you going to miss Dragon Challenge too much to care? Leave a comment with your thoughts and subscribe for more theme park news and rumor videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.